Is the iPhone more secure than Android? Can you remove the passcode of a locked iPhone? Can you remove Apple ID? Can you remove screen time lock? Can you do all that on an iPhone? Of course, we're about to find out because I my phone reached out to me that they have a software they can do all that and more. I mean, it can remove passcode, remove Apple ID. They can even remove a, a mobile device management on iOS. They can remove screen time. They can even rescue a phone that is locked on guided access wow so if you're ready to find out whether this thing actually works come with me let's go check this out Hey, welcome back again to Smart Depot, and I'm so excited to have you on this one. Uh, if you've been following me, you know I recently switched to my daily driver to an iPhone, and then I'm, the first thing that came to my mind is like, okay, I'm going to check this out. Can someone else unlock my iPhone if it is locked? Is it possible? Yeah, so welcome to iMyPhone. Uh, these guys have a utility here for iOS, and when they reached out to me, I was like, okay, I'm going to test it out, because that's what I do. I test out things for you out there, so you don't have to to test it over again so what are we going to do i'm going to start with apple id removing apple id because there are many instances when people have forgotten their apple id didn't remember to properly sign out even on a sold out phone and genie users get this phone and then they won't be able to use it because an apple id is there they can't put in their own they can't sign out the other one so that's the first thing we're going to test then we're going to look at the screen passcode uh, removal and some other features and at the end i'm going to give you a strap bonus so make sure you watch it at the end so let's jump right in <laughs> and start from Apple ID removal. So before you do anything with your iPhone, I would recommend you take a full backup and you can do that with iTunes one click, whether you are using Mac or PC, you can do that backup. Now we're done with the backup, we're gonna open iMyPhone lock wiper and we're gonna get started. There are a whole lot of features this thing can do, as I said earlier, bypass MDN, unlock Apple ID, unlock screen passcode, and more. But look at some of the quick instructions here. First of all, um, you have to make sure that two-factor authentication is turned on <laughs> on the iPhone. And then also, if your phone has uh, find my phone enable which i actually turned on on the iphone uh you have to use the passcode after you know unlocking or removing the apple id so uh this this is not for those who really want to go take over somebody's iphone it's for people who genuinely you know have a pass apple id that they want to remove or forget their screen passcode so here if you forget your screen passcode also there are still instruction i'm going to talk more about this at the end of the video so make sure you watch till the end the one i want us to go in and do immediately is the apple id remover which actually i've been faced with in the past so i can't wait to see whether this thing works so let's just jump right in and remove the apple id so to get started click on start to get started now here are the instructions i said before you have to make sure that two-factor authentication is turned on and then you're going to click on next and now you give you option to put in zero into six places six digits of zero and to confirm unlocking once you click unlock it will start wiping the phone and also your iphone will reboot so um it's important you realize that uh, there are processes and procedures you must follow with this. So you have to make sure you have two-factor authentication. You have to make sure uh, if Find My Phone is on, you have to put in the phone passcode. Uh, but if you turn off Find My Phone, it probably won't uh, ask you for the passcode when you, you know, erase it and then remove the Apple ID. This is a very, very useful. Now we are here, we have erased the phone and the phone has been locked now to the owner and it's called activation lock. So once Find My Phone is on and something happened or somebody tried to tamper with your phone, it can activate activation lock. And that means that the person have to, before you can activate the iPhone, you have to be the right person, whether you have the passcode or you have the Apple ID to be able to do that. So it's like a fresh setup. They're gonna go through it again. And now you see that this phone has been locked uh, to the user and there's instruction is there and you have the option to use passcode to unlock with passcode so once you already have the passcode before you did this put in the passcode it will you know roll in there and after that the phone will be unlocked now for you to complete your face id uh, some other things you're going to set up even create a new passcode so you see that now <laughs> so you can create a new passcode i'm not going to create passcode here because what i want to check out is the apple id i'm not going to do data transfer say don't transfer data i want to confirm whether the apple id has been removed and whether i can put in a new one yes <laughs> it has been removed so now you can put in a new apple id or even create one 
And this is important for people who maybe got a phone from a family member or somebody who doesn't remember the Apple ID email or password. And, you know, the phone is open, you know the passcode and you're using the phone, but you can't put your own Apple ID because there's already an Apple ID there, you can remove it. This application <laughs> removes it. It does what it says it would do. So finally, let's look at some of the requirements again, especially if you want to unlock the screen passcode. It's still the same process with uh, removing Apple ID but the thing here is that if you have forgotten your iphone passcode or your phone has been locked and cannot be used again so what you have to do is to go through the same process now if you find my phone is on uh when you started unlocking this it will require you put your apple id and password uh to really really activate the device so for some of you who are thinking oh i'm going to buy this app and then i'm going to start stealing people's iphone and use it <laughs> well that is not if the person already turned on their find my phone if their find my phone is on um there is still something <laughs> that will be required from you that you probably do not have so this is a very good tool uh, from my test uh, that can do what they said you do and i've been able to update this phone over and over after this and everything is fine so yes you watch till the end so the bonus here is gonna be that uh, i spoke with i my phone and i asked them to give a coupon to all our viewers so yes if you want to buy this service you want to use it you know um then they check the link in the description once uh it will be there uh there will be a coupon in there once i get it from them i'll put it in the description so you can get a good 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 deal on this especially if you want the service and then finally for all ios users well this uh software is not just that you get it you move around looking for who to steal their iphone and then wipe it off and do all that no there is still a restriction and security that this particular app cannot deal with so if you're able to go to your settings and then go to your apple id and then go to find my phone and you turn it on so make sure you go to your iphone and turn on find my phone and once it's turned on it's going to give you extra layer of security even if somebody takes your phone flash it was able to remove your apple id or password good they're not going to be able to fully have that access if you turn on find my phone if you find my phone is off then uh, there's probably no hope for you of course there are still some advanced software that can actually remove everything from an iphone and reset it uh but um i want to hear from you in the comment section will you want me to also test such software on this channel because well, what am i here for <laughs> just to give you details and tech and things that is possible or things that are not possible so thank you for watching if you're watching for the first time i want to click on that subscribe button turn notification bell icon like share this video so a lot of people can see it until i see you in the next Next one, it is peace. The subscribe. I see. You.